Welcome to Just Cook Something. In this video, I'm going to experiment with my artisan bread recipe and try to make the bread more fluffy. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to add is two teaspoons of activated dry yeast, along with two teaspoons of granulated sugar. Next, we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. And I'm not using a measuring spoon or anything. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. All right, next we need to add two cups of warm water. I'm using filtered water, and the water was warmed in the microwave for around 30 to 40 seconds. Temperature should be around 108 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Just stir it in for around 30 seconds, and then we're gonna add one teaspoon of white vinegar. If you have apple cider vinegar, you can use that as well. And then you're just gonna mix it 30 seconds to a minute. By adding the vinegar, this is what's gonna help the dough rise when we leave it to rest. All right, next we're gonna let it sit for five minutes to allow the yeast to ferment. And once the five minutes is up, we can start mixing again for another 30 seconds to a minute. All right, next we're gonna add four cups of hard wheat flour. If you don't have hard wheat flour, you can use all-purpose flour as well as a substitute. All right, next we're gonna mix everything now with a spatula. We're just going to mix it slowly just so the flour doesn't fly around. And then I'm just kind of scraping the edges of the bowl to get all the flour off. You can see it gets really sticky. And then once you get to this point, just try to fold everything to the center of the dough. And then this is the consistency you want it to look like. Next, we're going to just put some water around the bowl and then put a saran wrap. So this just holds it nice and tight and then we're just gonna cover it with a cloth and leave it for one hour. So after an hour, we're gonna remove the cloth and the saran wrap and you're gonna see that the dough has doubled in size. So we're gonna poke these holes and just let the air out and start slowly folding in the dough. Now we're not gonna push down in the center, we're just kinda lifting up the dough with the spatula and slowly bringing it into the center. So we'll do this a couple times, just folding all ends of the dough. And once we finish folding all sides, we're gonna put back on the saran wrap and cover it with a cloth again. And we're gonna let it rest for one hour and 30 minutes. And after an hour and 30 minutes, we remove the cloth and you can see the dough has risen quite a bit and all that air is packed in there. So we're just gonna poke some holes with the spatula and we're just going to repeat the same process. So we're going to start folding in to the center, but we're not going to put pressure in the middle of the dough. So we're just going to fold it over and just, again, repeat the process as last time. And this is the consistency you want it to look like. All right, next we're going to get our cutting board and we're gonna add flour on there just so the dough doesn't get stuck and gets all sticky. And then we bring the dough to the board and you can already tell just by the look of it, it was super sticky. So I put some flour on my hands and it wasn't enough. So what I had to do was get some more flour and just put it on the side and just kind of get it all in my hands because it was super sticky. I also put some flour on top of the dough and I tucked it inward. So I kind of just folded it as much as I can into a ball. And then I just kind of rolled it on the board. And then I just took some of the flour and just spread it across the board and rolled it. And then from there, it became a lot easier to, to tuck everything in and make it into a nice ball. I then added some more flour on top just so it doesn't become too sticky and it's just easier to manage. And then we got our parchment paper, put it inside the bowl, and then we just let it rest for a bit as we preheat our oven. We're also gonna throw in my seven quart Dutch oven into the oven and preheat our oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So while we wait for our oven to preheat, we're just gonna sprinkle some flour on top of our dough and just rub it slightly on the top and then we're just gonna add our own design using a knife. So I'm just gonna do one line, and as you can see, I'm not very creative, but I think that does the job. 
All right, so once the oven is fully preheated, we could put in our dough in the Dutch oven and then we just bake it for 35 minutes. At this point, it was all experimental for me. Uh, I looked at it and it looked a little underdone. I took out the parchment paper and baked it for an additional three minutes. And then after the three minutes, this is what it looked like. So I had a nice golden crust on top and it looked like it was done. So I set it aside and let it cool off for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, I was just checking the sides of the bread and it was feeling slightly a little soft. So I decided to bake it again for an additional three minutes with the lid on and an additional two minutes with the lid off. And this is what it looked like. So in total, you would actually bake it for 38 minutes with the lid on and with the lid off an additional five minutes. And then I did a quick check on the side of the bread and everything felt nice and hard. Nothing was caving in. And this is how it turned out. So the bread definitely came out lighter and a lot more crunchier on the crust. And if you tear it, you can see how nice and fluffy it came out, but it still had that tough pull on the crust, but it was super light and fluffy. Thanks again for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And I'm gonna go make a sandwich. Take care.